do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter animal husbandry and in that we are studying topic outcross now if i say that outbreeding and outcross have some similarities but in outcross the animals which have more milk productivity are used or reared let's study and find out about it today outcross outcross now if i say that outcross is nothing but breeding of animals within same species or same breed but they have no ancestral relationship and this ancestral relationship should not be there in their pedigree chart at least for 6 to 8 generations or minimum 4 to 6 generation and whenever outcross is done the outcross precisely lays or concentrates so that the milk productivity of that particular hybrid animal is increased outcross focuses on that basically the progeny has ability to produce greater quantities or qualities of dairy products if it is cattle who produce milk or if it is poultry the animal on which outcross is done hen chicken or boiler will produce majority poultry products like eggs meat in greater quantity and proportion outcross now outcross and outbreeding are little bit in similar in outbreeding also you use two different species which don't have similarity in ancestral properties but their one generation ancestral difference is only looked upon whereas in outcross wherever cattles are made or breeding is done the animals which then the same family or the same breed and also they should never ever have any ancestral similarities now ancestral similarities within at least 4 to 8 generations are never taken into consideration the pedigree chart or you can say the generation chart is made and there should be no relation between these species that are used in mating at least for number of generation the reason is that there are certain characteristics which we say in genetics are passed down from generation to generation which are dominant characteristics and there are chances that this dominant characteristics in this cattles could be not of use or could be playing a harmful effect on the milk production or the product for which we are rearing the cattle that's the reason this step is skipped also animals which have very little productivity in terms of milk dairy products eggs in case of poultry they have lesser growth rate despite of giving them proper nutrition shelter and animals who have undergone inbreeding depression due to inbreeding process or outbreeding can be benefited or can gain benefits from this process of outcrossing so students in this part of the chapter we did study about outcrossing and how outcrossing has gained benefits for certain animals in certain conditions i hope students you all here 
are very clear about this concept. Thank you.